It's been just a little bit over 24 hours since the strange caddis eye appeared at Polar Peak. In this video, we're going to dive even further into more information about this strange and mysterious eye that's ultimately leading us up to a live event in the future. What's up, guys? I'm Dr. P, and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale storyline video, and I really appreciate you stopping back by. Really quickly, if you want to get added to my epic friends list and possibly receive a gift, just come over to my cat caffeine live streams. I'm live over there a couple times a week. During the course of that live stream, I actually add anyone who's watching. So if you want to get on my friends list, that's a surefire way to do it. That stream link will be below. Also, if you love Fortnite, if you love the lore, you love keeping up with what's new, this is definitely the place to be. So go ahead and subscribe, join the family today. And while you're at it, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up rating. I'd really appreciate it. I want to start the video off by showing something in the map that's not necessarily related to the Caddis event, but definitely it's a map update that I find really, really cool. So the Golem family, as you guys know, is near Lonely Lodge, but recently there's been another update. The mother and the dad Golem have actually had a child, and the child is leaving them for some reason. They're waving goodbye, he's waving back, and he's off to the races. It's really cool to see them continuing the storyline of the Golem family that started two seasons ago. Last season we thought they did not survive that volcanic eruption, but they did. Not only have they started their own little farm and family, but now their child is leaving them to go explore the map and go on an adventure. Let me know in the comment section below what you think the child golem is up to. So in case you missed it, yesterday this mysterious eye appeared at Polar Peak and there have been a number of theories as to what it actually is. There have been theories about dinosaurs, dragons, even Godzilla because of the upcoming movie and possibly there being a crossover event. PUBG Mobile has actually even done so themselves. I said in yesterday's video that I didn't think it would be Godzilla, but honestly, after looking at a lot of different sources and looking over some information, it's more likely than I thought at first. Now, I'm not saying it's likely, I'm simply saying it's more likely than I thought yesterday. Take a look at this tweet I got from Carlos. He says, the eye in Fortnite looks a lot like Godzilla's eye, and quite frankly, it does. There's no denying the resemblance. It's the same pupil, it's the same color. The orange eye with the dark black pupil. I retweeted this on Twitter yesterday and I got a lot of people replying saying, yeah, I agree, that looks a lot like it. Now look at this eye that is in the bottom left hand corner of the Fort Byte image. We have been talking about this for a while, but recently I thought of something interesting. The reason why the eye here is pink or purple, depending on how you look at it, may be simply because Jonesy didn't have that many colors when he was drawing on the wall in the bunker when he was trapped. I mean, look at the overall picture we have so far. There is no color other than pink and black. That's all he had. And if that's all he had, he did his best interpretation of the eye. I think the color difference between this picture and what actually is in the game is completely irrelevant. Now, I'd like to direct your attention to the bottom right hand corner of this image. And as you can see, there is some kind of creature, some kind of beast monster looking thing. It's got the same kind of eye. Is this ultimately a sketch of what we are going to see come out of the iceberg? Is this indeed the Caddis creature? I think it makes a lot of sense considering the eye is exactly the same. Over the course of the past three or four weeks, ever since season nine came out, there have been lots of theories about this Fort Bite image itself and what it's actually detailing. The biggest theory so far has been Jonesy was painting Fortnite's history on the wall with all that free time. But recently, I've started to think it may be a little bigger than we originally thought. Yeah, it makes sense that he's drawing what's already happened. We know that's true because we can see Kevin the Cube. We can even see what appears to be Tilted getting destroyed. But is it possible Jonesy also was writing a prophecy of sorts on the wall, predicting the future as well? There is absolutely nothing in the game that has ever looked like an eye until right now at this very moment. If he's drawn Tilted getting destroyed, if he's drawn Kevin the Cube, and there could be a lot more, the image hasn't been fully decrypted yet, then I'm Honestly, I think it's fair to say Jonesy might have grown into some kind of a prophet while being trapped inside the bunker. He may have seen the future. He may have even known already 
about the beast before he was even locked in the bunker. Either way, it looks like Jonesy knows a lot more than we originally gave him credit for. This next bit comes to you from Reddit user Redditor32, and he says, I guess the eye in Polar Peak could be related to the Leviathan LTM, which was placed in the game files a couple seasons ago. What do you think about the possibility? This is an interesting point, so let me fill you in in case you don't know. I feel like there might be a fair amount of you guys who are new since Season 4 and have no clue what he's talking about. Back in Season 4, and even going into Season 5, there was a big rumor going around about a Leviathan LTM in which we would have to escort some kind of big creature to a certain location. If I recall correctly, this may have been one of the few times leakers were wrong because this was in the game's coding. Literally, there was a Leviathan LTM in the coding, references to this Leviathan creature. It may have been scrapped, I don't know, but nevertheless, it never came to the game. Fast forward to season nine, and now we know there's some kind of gigantic creature in the game just waiting to be unleashed. Could this have been Epic Games' Leviathan LTM that they scrapped many seasons ago and decided to bring it back? Further adding to my theory, yesterday, which of course was the same day that this eye appeared, there was a very special skin that appeared in the item shop. Want to take a guess? Did you guess correctly? It was the Leviathan skin, which ironically enough showed up in season four, which was the same time the Leviathan LTM rumors were swirling around. It could just be a giant coincidence, but at the same time, I feel like in a way, Epic Games may have kind of known what they were doing. They do more times than not. It also isn't completely out of the question the item shop could be a hint of what's happening in the game in the future. It's happened before. Just to point this out to you, Donald Mustard changed his location yet again. If you take a look at it on Twitter, it says, the eye. As if it wasn't confirmed enough to be something big, Donald Mustard himself is, in a sense, doing it for you. Take a look at this YouTube comment I got on my last video by Mathis. They say there has already been eight years gone by. What if the eye is the hybrid and he is finally an adult dragon? This is a point that I've seen made a lot and I wanted to address it. Thank you, Mathis, for the comment. So when he says there's been eight years gone by, he's referring to the fact that season nine technically takes place in the future at least eight years from season eight, and we know this based on rough approximations using the length of Jonesy's beard and calculating how long it takes for beards to grow. It's not confirmed for it to be eight years, but that's a pretty general idea. So now let's take a rewind back to season seven, right when the prisoner broke out of his shackles underneath the Ice King's lair and escaped. As we know, he took a lot of his eggs with them, the hybrid eggs that were in Polar Peak and we thought they would be dragon eggs for the longest time. We know that early in season eight, the eggs hatched, or at least most of them did, revealing the hybrid creature we knew from season eight in the battle pass. But here's the thing about Mathis's comment that really intrigues me. How do we know that the prisoner took all of the eggs with him to the volcano? Even if he left just one egg there, that egg had the entirety of season eight and then eight years into the future leading into season nine to grow and develop within the egg. If he did indeed leave an egg at Polar Peak, then it wouldn't be unfathomable to think that egg grew a little bit. You know, the monster inside had the chance to develop and now that's what we're looking at underneath Polar Peak. And it would also make sense if that were true, why he made sure to have that volcanic rock impact the iceberg so he could wake up his dragon. Maybe the whole thing was calculated by the Fire King. At this point, I'd say the two most likely candidates for what's inside that iceberg are either Godzilla, based on what I've shown you earlier, or the dragon, and that egg growing over time at Polar Peak. And honestly, that one would make a lot more sense for the actual lore and storyline part of the game, and it would be a good way to connect previous events to the current. Whatever's happening at Polar Peak, I expect there to be an update to it in the next three or four days at most. Maybe, you know, the ice will thin a little bit more maybe there will be more of the creature visible through the ice and maybe going into creative mode and phasing inside of the iceberg might reveal a little more in the coming days. The time is ticking on that Godzilla theory though because the movie comes out in two days. It comes out on May 31st, less than 48 hours from the time I'm recording this video. Previously with other movie crossovers they've done, they have announced it a couple days at least, maybe a week or so before the movie came out. But now that the movie is actually out or at least almost, 
almost every passing day is taking away from the likelihood it's Godzilla. That Fire King theory with leaving the dragon at Polar Peak and then letting it grow over the course of eight or nine years makes a lot of sense to me right now, and I'd say that is probably the most likely option, but again, I really have no idea. I'm just speculating. I'm just providing the best theories I can based on fact. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could do me a solid favor real quick, go ahead and drop a like. I'd appreciate it. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. I'm uploading every day, covering the latest and greatest in the Fortnite Battle Royale storyline and so much more. Make sure to keep leaving your theories and ideas in the comments section. I really do read them all. And if there's something really good, I may just feature it in my next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.